welcome back to this amazing 2023 google ads course and in this video we are going to talk about columns because columns are one of the most important option in google ads using columns you can access different different kinds of metrics which will help you to analyze your google ad campaign and help you better to optimize your campaigns so let's directly talk about the columns basically and this is the 72 video in this google ads course and after three or four videos we are going to create the actual campaigns which is basically the ad creation process so let's talk about the columns now without any further ado so as you can see guys right now i'm in my google ads account and there's no any matrix or you can say there's no any data in this account but we don't have to check out the data as we don't need data right now we just want to access the column option let me go to directly go to add groups and here you'll be able to see this column option once you click here directly we have to go to ads and assets click on this and here we'll be able to see this column option once you click here you'll be able to see these options recommended columns performance conversions attribution attributes call details message details custom columns so these are the columns and these all columns have tons of matrix which you can leverage to optimize your google ad campaign as you can see here right now let's just talk about one by one uh, let me give you the brief idea about all the options so the first one is recommended columns so this is basically recommended by google and these are conversion rate conversions and cost per conversions right so this will help you to uh, analyze that how much conversions you are getting how much conversion rate you are getting and how much cost you are paying to get a conversion right so this data is pretty important to understand this data is pretty important to know that's why these are under recommended columns now let's start with the performance option clicks cost impression ctr which is click through rate interaction interaction rate average cpc average cost percentage served impression apps top percent percentage and then impression top percentage so you you might have know about all these factors that if your ad gets clicked or any interaction that will be counted as a click then cost impression ctr i think i don't have to tell about these options right but you'll get some option below that uh, you might know about but below we have some options that you might don't know about so i'll talk about that directly in the conversion option we have tons of options these are the conversions right now let me show you in the conversion options these are basically the recommended ones conversion cost per conversion then conversion rate then we have conversion value we already talked about conversion value in our previous videos you can watch that particular video then we have conversion value cost conversion value per click convert uh, then value per conversion then value adjustment new customer lifetime value and then if i scroll a little bit down you'll be able to see more options these are more uh, conversion columns conversion column options basically right so uh, conversion by conversion time then we have conversion val value by conversion time then we have value per conversion by conversion time so these all are conversion options which you can check if you want according to your business niche according to your niche then if i scroll a little bit down we got this attribution option in attribution you get conversion current model cost per conversion current model conversion rate these are basically on current model options as you can see here current model current model current model so the option is same but for the current model option only then in the attributes option we got these options campaign id so if you want to uh, see the attributes like campaign id campaign type ad group id ad group uh, ad id ad type final url mobile so these are the attributes which you can add into your campaign or into your ad list right then call details if you are running any call or call only ad or any kind of ad which gets call then you can use these columns phone calls phone impression ptr then message details if you are using or if you are adding any chat option then these option can be useful then at the custom option you can create some custom columns as well if i click on this plus icon you will be able to see this option where you can add or divide or you can just add a formula which you want to create you just have to name of that particular column if you want to describe you can describe it 
then what type of format which means in which format you want the data then you have to add the formula right simple now let me go to another campaign and if i show you about uh, add groups you can add the columns or you can uh, use this column option in the add groups option as well you just have to click on this columns then click modify columns and you'll be able to see these options these are the column options which you can use in add group option right recommended columns are these impression participated in app actions because we are running app install campaigns in this particular account that's why then we have clicks conversion rate conversion value average cpc cost per conversion conversion value per cost so these are the recommended options let me go to directly on to performance so these are the performance like clicks cost impression interaction rate interaction average cpc average cost and if you are running video ads then these column options will be very helpful views option view rate then view played to 25 percent 50 75 and 100 percent so these are for video ads only and if you was the previous video i have talked about these view view rate and view played to option as well then in the setup option we see these options number of eligible ads number of disapproved ads number of eligible keywords so basically these are the options which will clarify that which ads are running which are not running which are disapproved or which are recommended so this will help you to figure out that uh, or you can say this will help you to create all the things properly right then viewability viewable impression non viewable impression measurable impression not measurable impression so all the options all the criteria all the matrix are available in these column options already talked about the conversion options tons of options are here according to your business niche you can add that particular column into your matrix right then in attribution attributes then we got competitive metrics so these are the competitive metrics and we got some extra options as well google analytics so if you want to see your bounce rate you can add so these are the basic options for analytics bounce rate page session or new session all these things right then as i've already told you if you are if you're running call only or uh, uh, add that can get a call so you can use these options message details if you're running any kind of ad that needs to be uh, that needs message or chatting option then these are the option you can use then youtube earn actions basically for youtube you can you uh, see these options earn likes earn playlist additions earn shares earn subscribers earn views so basically for youtube if you're running ad on youtube change history gmail matrix then add customizer attributes and then we got custom columns as well which i've already told you right so that's how you can leverage these this column option and if you add any column this will be added here as you can see campaign column status column default max cpc target cpa target ros so these are the columns right and if i go little bit right these are the interaction interaction rate average cost cost engagement engagement rate impression so these are the columns and if you want to add extra columns you just have to go to column option and check that box which matrix you want that's how the column works i hope you got the point i hope everything is clear now and if you still have any question or confusion please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself please hit that subscribe and like button already did you are good to go we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye